Okay, and let's go over to Matt here. And uh, Matt, there's some uh, more botnet spamming activity going on, right? Yeah, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, Encapsula put out a report about a, a, a botnet called Simult. Um, and what it appears that this botnet is doing, it's kind of interesting, is for uh, search engine optimization, or SEO, mm -hmm. which is sort of a, a nice way of saying bumping your ranks up in search engines right, through right. white, gray, or potentially black means. What it seems that Simult is doing is it is um, making requests to web servers, repeated mm -hmm. requests, and setting the refer field in the HTTP headers to the URL of the site they want to promote. Oh, see, now yeah. what that'll do on some sites that are improperly configured is um, if the site has the um, access logs available and you know indexable and searchable, mm -hmm. um, it'll show up there as a link. Right. Now some web crawlers will treat that as a page of the website and say, wow, you know, this page links to, you know, myspamsite.com 50 times, that's great. People must right. love this site. So it bumps up the rank in the search engine. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, basically what they're doing here is, is, is gaming the system. Right. Um, and some people might consider this white, some people might consider this gray. The problem here is that they're actually using um, what appears to be a comp either a, a Trojan or a modified version of, of uh, s some sort of sound software that I wasn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't clear as to whether or not this is a legitimate software that's been you know, repurposed, repackaged, or hijacked, mm -hmm. or if this was designed specifically as a vehicle of get, for getting the malware on the machine. Right. Uh, but another, it seemed, gray, another gray area. Right? Yeah, it's another gray area. <laughs> um, but you know, it, seems, it seems like an, yet another interesting use of botnets to, to create, but effectively is financial gain. Right, and we've right. seen people stealing bank you know, account information or money from a bank or um, you know, comment spam. But this mm -hmm. one I thought was kind of unique in that it, it, it takes advantage of people misconfiguring their servers mm -hmm. in order to promote completely unrelated sites. Right. I, I don't know what the, the solution is here. Maybe it's just to educate you know, website administrators that you know, your logs should not be available to the general public because mm -hmm. they could be abused this way. There are other reasons not to share your logs with the general public, but I think this might be the most compelling one. Yeah, that's interesting. And so the question, I guess, becomes is what what is the monet path for monetary gain in this in this case? Are they, you know, selling this as an advertising mechanism, or right, like are they can, the other way it. they could be using it is to to basically promote links associated with malware to get drive by type uh, activity? So yeah, that, that's two be a steps guess. in. I think the first right. step in is just promoting the site itself, getting the rank right. up, because naturally, if if you are the top result for any search in a search engine, you're going to get more clicks through to your site. Right. That may translate into more business. You know, it's not a hard connection, but it, mm -hmm. it certainly sounds pretty good to some people who want to get their site promoted. Right. So these, the Samalt actually represents itself as a legitimate search engine optimization service, okay. um, but they do a few things that are not legitimate. Obviously, mm -hmm. we know that this is related to this botnet, but they also don't abide by the robots.txt file. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who aren't you know, familiar with how websites are set up, typically in the root of a website, you'll have a robots.txt file that tells any sort of web bot, these are the areas you're allowed to index, right. these are the areas you have to avoid. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you're running a legitimate bot, you will abide by that, and you won't go ahead and try to spider all those other sites. Apparently, Samal isn't doing this and is actually getting a lot of bad press from web administrators who are finding this out. Okay, yeah, so that's, uh, again, uh, sort of another, you know, I guess a tick <laughs> that, uh, that you want to pay attention to. Certainly, if you're going out to uh, purchase services, these are the kinds of things you want to look for, you know, reputational type activities for those services to make sure you're getting a good, legitimate service and doing that. Probably on the uh, edge of what is really a security issue, but uh, that's you know that's how these things escalate into to, to bigger problems. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Matt. Very good one.